I think the bagpipes are not quite a hobby, they're not a pastime, uh, they're an obsession. If you speak to any pipers especially, and even drummers, uh, they are consumed by their hobby, their passion, and uh, they practice three, four nights a week, and many of the bands who are here have been practicing for two years to come to the World Championships in Glasgow. Uh, if you're going to be raising £30,000 to come from North America, for one day's piping, it really must be something pretty special and I'm pleased to say it is. The first thing they, they hear whenever you march in as a band is the sound of the band and uh, the whole thing. What does it come over like? Does it sound good? And if it sounds good, then they're listening to the musical quality, the technical quality of the finger work, and the playing together with the drums and the pipes together. So the ensemble is very, very important. No mistakes, obviously, in the, in the music. You have one judge who's responsible to listen just for the drum corps. You've got two judges listening to the pipe corps. Each judge is given uh, marks for the position of your drum core, pipe core, and then all the points are added up, and it's the band with the less points that has a chance to go through. You wouldn't think that playing in a bagpipe would get you into places because it's an unusual instrument, but we get to play in places that if I didn't play the bagpipes, would you would never you never get to go there backstage at the Hollywood Bowl, stuff like that. So very privileged to be here. Well, Glasgow, there's a very important economic impact. Uh, we have been given figures of in the region of £10 million that the World Pipe Band Championships bring into Glasgow on the day. Uh, if you've got 50,000 people in Glasgow, they don't come for one day, they come for a week. And there have been a host of activities going on in Glasgow since Monday. We'll be carrying on until tomorrow and then everyone will be going home probably tired and with a sore head on Monday morning. <laughs>